The most remote fast radio burst ever detected by astronomers has been discovered. A team of international researchers has identified a brief and distant outburst of cosmic radio waves lasting for less than one millisecond. This fast radio burst, or FRB, is the most remote instance of its kind that has been observed so far. The source of this FRB was determined by the European Southern Observatory's ESO Very Large Telescope, VLT. This source is located in a galaxy that is so far away that the light it emitted required 8 billion years to reach Earth. The FRB is also one of the most powerful ever detected, releasing the equivalent of the Sun's total emission over a period of 30 years in a fraction of a second. In the month of June last year, the ASKP radio telescope located in Australia made an important discovery, a burst that was dubbed FRB 202-20610A. This finding broke the team's previous distance record by an impressive 50%. Stuart Ryder, a co-lead author of a study recently published in Science, and an astronomer hailing from Macquarie University in Australia explains that the utilization of ASCAPE's dish array enabled them to accurately pinpoint the exact origin of the burst. Afterwards, they utilized ESO's VLT in Chile to scour the cosmos for the galaxy responsible, managing to locate it despite its great age and distance from us. It is currently the most remote FRB source we have found so far, and it is believed to be situated within a small cluster of galaxies currently in the process of merging. The revelation affirms that fast radio bursts, FRBs, can be utilized to quantify the unaccounted matter in the intergalactic space, creating a fresh method of evaluating the mass of the universe. The standard model of cosmology is being challenged by current methods of estimating the mass of the universe as they are producing conflicting results. Professor Ryan Shannon, who co-led the study at Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, states that when normal matter in the universe is tallied up, over half of what should be present is absent. The missing matter is believed to be concealed in the intergalactic spaces, but it could be so extensively diffused and heated that it cannot be detected by standard approaches. According to Shannon, fast radio bursts are capable of detecting ionized matter. These bursts can observe all of the electrons in even the most empty areas of space, enabling us to determine the quantity of material that exists between galaxies. The discovery of far-reaching FRBs is essential to the precise quantification of the universe's absent matter, as demonstrated in 2020 by Jean-Pierre McCart, an astronomer from Australia who has since passed away. McCart exhibited that when a fast radio burst is located farther away, it discloses a greater amount of gaseous compounds between galaxies. This principle is now known as the McCart relation. Despite recent instances of fast radio bursts that seem to contradict this correlation, our findings uphold that the McQuart relation is still valid, even at distances beyond half of the universe's known expanse, according to Ryder. According to Shannon, even though the cause of these immense energy bursts remains a mystery, what is certain is that fast radio bursts happen regularly throughout the universe. Furthermore, these bursts could be utilized to detect the presence of matter in the vast space between galaxies and to gain a deeper comprehension of the universe's layout. As it stands, the outcome is the ultimate achievement of what telescopes can observe at this moment in time. However, astronomers will soon find themselves in possession of the necessary tools to discover bursts that are older and more remote, while also pinpointing the galaxies that produce them and measuring the universe's unaccounted for matter. The Square Kilometre Array Observatory is collaborating internationally and is in the process of constructing two radio telescopes in South Africa and Australia that will be able to locate thousands of fast radio bursts, including those that are too far away to be detected by current technology. ESO's extremely large telescope, a 39-metre telescope currently being built in the Atacama Desert of Chile, will be one of the few telescopes capable of studying the galaxies that create bursts that are even more distant than FRB 202-20610A. Addendum. The ownership and operation of the ASCAP telescope in Western Australia are assigned to CSIRO, the National Science Agency of Australia. The telescope is located on the land of the Wajari Yamaji people. The group utilized information gathered by utilizing various instruments, 
including the Focal Reducer and Low Dispersion Spectrograph 2, Force 2, the X-Shooter and the High Acuity Wide Field K-Band Imager, Hawk Y, on ESO's VLT. Additionally, findings from the Keck Observatory located in Hawaii, USA were incorporated into the study. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.